Hey guys, Megan here from People Medical Consulting, and this is The Week That Was. So not a lot has changed this week. I did have some phenomenal conversations with clients this past week about the uh, DPA and the fact that you can apply to have your location considered as a DPA. Uh, one of the questions that was raised was around being a non-DPA triple M1 and your ability to do the first step of the process, which is reaching out to your rural workforce agency. So as the name implies, they usually specialize in working with rural practices. However, for the purposes of this application, they're working with triple M practices to help you prepare your application to be considered as a DPA. So definitely reach out to them. Um, going through to the AMC updates. Now the AMC MCQ dates are scheduled or the schedules for sitting the AMC MCQ are open until June next year. So jump in and grab a date. Uh, your AMC clinical, if you wanna get in for August, today is the last day for you to be able to do that. So jump in and grab a date, otherwise it will be September and moving forward. Uh, the ACRAM, the two ACRAM pathways, uh, ACRAM Independent Pathway and RGTS, their applications are closing on the 23rd of May. So you've still got about 10 days to jump in and do that. AGPT is doing a second intake, which is really exciting. Uh, applications for that will open on the 1st of August. Uh, RVTS and RVTS is a brilliant program for everything I've heard from my doctors. Uh, their applications are actually closing on Sunday. So uh, jump in and, and uh, take a look at those applications. Okay, this is probably the most exciting thing about uh, doing my week that was this week is that RACGP have released their information about their new program that is replacing PEP. So as you know, PEP uh, did its final intake in January of this year, and we were waiting for new program information to come out mid 2022, so mid this year. Uh, they have released a little bit of information and some FAQs, which is on their website, and you can get the link to that in our blog. Essentially, the FSP or the Fellowship Support Program will be a fully self-funded program. Uh, it will be open to people with uh, level two supervision and above. So please make sure that you're aware of that and have a chat to us if you need some sort of a bridging program, because of course there's MD wrap as well. Uh, we're going to get a full handbook next month. So we're really looking forward to seeing that. But we've got a blog coming out about FSP this week uh, or next week. So keep your eye out for that. Um, APRA is temporarily accepting your English language tests and there is a new SPPA 30 form. So if you feel like I've missed anything or if there's anything you want to chat about, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.